Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Beamer, owner-operator of Expertly Diet Art by Science, coming to you with episode six. I had to look at my hands to make sure I held up the right number. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> as you can tell, I'm wearing the same shirt as I was wearing in the last episode, and that's because I'm trying to bust out these videos all at once uh, so that my husband can play some video games this morning. So, anyway... I just wanted to update you guys. So I have been working on building up some stock for my shop. It's still kind of low, and I have this rule that if you don't have a certain amount, then it's really not worth opening your shop, uh, especially on Etsy, because it's better if you have more than less so that you're more likely to be found in a search. Um, and it also gives people variety so that you can hopefully sell more at once. <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, the other thing that I'm actually doing, and I keep looking over here at what I what I've been doing is um, when I first opened my business uh, a year and a half, almost two almost two years ago now. Uh, January beginning of January would be uh, two years that I've had expertly diet up and running, which is great. Yay! We'll have like a little party or something. Anyway, so <clears throat> I opened it originally with the idea that I would wholesale. And um, that worked for a while, but then the place where I was living, there weren't, there wasn't a lot of need for the things that I was giving. Uh, I was doing a lot of fiber stuff, and uh, I guess there weren't enough spinners in our, in our area, which is actually kind of funny because um, there is a spinners and weavers guild that I was actually a part of, um, but I guess. They got their fiber elsewhere, or maybe they preferred non-dyed fibers. I don't know what the, I don't know what the reason was actually. So um, <clears throat> whatever the case was, it wasn't selling very fast. So I moved more to a retail option, and you know things exploded from there. It was really great. Anyway, I'm going to do some more wholesale again. I'm going to try it out and see how well that works. But I'm going to be wholesaling not to a brick and mortar store. I'm going to be wholesaling to another online store which is kind of great because then there's less overhead and more likely it's going to sell a little faster because it's available on the internet than just being available in a store because it's really dependent on who comes in. So um, hopefully the outreach will be better for this wholesale adventure than my last one. And I wanted to show you a little bling bling. So these are two coordinated bats that I made on my drum carter. And some of the things that I added are, let's see if I can get up here. Uh, so it's mostly merino wool with um, a little bit of fire star, and that's basically nylon that has a little bit of shine. So it really picks up the light when you look at it. Then this green stuff here, this is premium sari silk thrums, and they're really, 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 oh gosh. I need to tell you, I, I told you about the, this in my, uh, I think, episode two video. These thrums are so soft. I, re I really love how soft they are. And they seem to be a little thinner than the thrums I was using before. So you'll get a, you'll get a different texture with this. It might be a little bit smoother. I don't know. I haven't had the chance to spin this up on a bat yet. Uh, it's on the things, it's on a list for things to do. Anyway, and then, um, I don't know if you can see, like, right here. Right here. This is pulled sari silk, and um, I added this in to give it a little bit more uh, color and texture. So with this particular bat, I was a little bit more conservative with the use of the pulled sari silk. Uh, I have a couple of other bats where I just poured it on it. You know, it was a, the fiber was basically just a delivery system for the silk. <laughs> um, so, and this stuff is, is really gorgeous. Anyway, I'm making uh, these sort of bat duos, and I have a couple of one-of-a-kind bats I'm going to offer. Um, I'm thinking about doing a little bit more luxury stuff. So, like I said, this is pretty much just plain merino. So, for those of you out there who prefer a slightly more luxurious feel, I'm thinking about adding more cultivated silk, or maybe alpaca, or maybe some... Uh, dyed wool locks or something. I don't know. I have to, I have to think about it and see what is the best option. 
But anyway, if I don't do wholesale with these more luxurious bats, I will definitely have them available on my Etsy site. So once that's actually up and running, I will let you guys know in case anyone is interested. But you all should be, right? You all should be interested. So anyway, wholesaling is not the best course of action if you want to do uh, a little bit here and a little bit there. But I am pretty confident that this is actually going to work out extremely well because of the person that I've been working with. So I'm very excited and I really can't wait until I make enough of these to send these to her. Um, and then, uh, like I said, I'll get the Etsy shop up and running very soon. I keep saying very soon. I should probably put a deadline to that so I can hold, so you guys can hold me accountable for it, right? Anyway, so thanks for watching. If you like this video, like the video, put the little guys thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Also, check me out on Twitter and Facebook, and I'll have whatever else links below that I mentioned in this video. <laughs> All right, see you. Bye.